there. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand freaking new video here on the JT Suits. We got JT haircut here. Coming at you with some fresh content for the fam. Today uh, I'm excited to bring you a brand new uh, video of life on a ship. I got a bunch of things I wrote down. I believe eight things that you should not do on a Navy ship. Now, going out on a Navy ship in the first place, you know, living out at sea, being a sailor, you know, that's what it's about being in the Navy, man, getting those experiences, being a freaking sailor. But there's a lot of stuff you, you don't really know. There's a lot of stuff you either have to learn on your own, you know, through trial and error, or you learn through your boy. Because I got you guys. I'm going to tell you guys eight things that you should not do on a Navy ship. I'm squared away, sailor, loves to go get trashed. Number one, now I believe this is the most freaking important. The most important, I would kick myself for not doing this. So yes guys, the number one thing, don't just hop into your rack. You know, the first day you get out on the ship. Don't just hop in there, throw all your stuff in, throw all your clothes, wipe down everything. Bring a whole thing of Lysol, a whole thing of Lysol wipes, you know, that you take out of the thing, the wipes. Bring a whole thing of those and wipe down everything. I'm saying your whole rack area, your whole locker, every single part of your rack and your bunk when you get to your ship, wipe all that stuff down, man, because it is freaking disgusting. I remember I went through almost a whole thing of Lysol wipes, you know, my second deployment, wiping down my whole rack. My first deployment, I didn't freaking do it. I just had some towels from the bathroom and it was completely just so gross. And I was like, dude, JT, you should have Lysol wiped everything before you got in your rack. So the second deployment, I learned from my mistakes, man. I bought a whole thing of the thing. And if I'm really lucky, they'll send me to captain's mass. Number two, now I learned this from trial and error. I got in, I, I didn't really get in trouble, but uh, I kind of got chewed out a little bit. When you go down the ladder wells, I'll, I'll show you guys a clip here, you know, of me walking down um, a couple ladder wells. You can see how steep. So when you're going down these ladder wells, you, you can pretty much slide down the whole thing. You know, you start at the top, and you know, you no feet, man. You just slide down, woo! And uh, you know, it is pretty fun. It is very quick, you know, quick way to get around because you know, I'm on the flight deck and I need to get down to the galley real quick. I can go down, boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four. I'm freaking sliding down all these. I'm in the galley, just like that. But the bad thing is, you know, it's not really professional. You know, you shouldn't really do that, uh, slide down the ladder wheels like that because what I did, I slid right down into a freaking 06, and 06 right in my face. And he says, uh, shipmate, come on, you know better. And I was like, sir, it won't happen again. So yes, guys, learn from me. Do not slide down ladder wells right into the face of a 06. No bueno. My uniform looks like hammer dog shit. All right, this third thing that you should not do is uh, don't dwell on how many days you have left at sea. Do not dwell on that amount because that will drive you freaking cuckoo. You know, you need to have something, you need to have an escape, you know, whether it's going to work out, whether it's going in your rack, you know, and reading, whether it's playing a freaking video game for an hour, whether it's, you know, whatever it is. For me, it was reading. You know, that that's how I escaped from the ship, from the everyday monotony. I was able to just, you know, go into these books, you know, dive into these stories, and uh, it, it took me off of the ship that I was on. It took me off of the tin can. My boots are done and scuffed. But I'm all right with it. All right, so this fourth one, you know, kind of similar to the ladder wells. You know, don't freaking slide down ladder wells and pop right up into a freaking 06 when you get to the bottom. You know, that's not going to be a good day. Same thing, don't turn sharp around a P-way. You know, passageways on the ship, there's a lot of turns that you got to do when you're navigating around the ship. Turn, 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 turn. You're always supposed to, you know, hug the right side. You know, when you're coming up to the corner or a turn on the ship, you know, slow down. You know, take your time going around the corner, then once you see it's a straightaway, then you can freaking hustle down the P-way. Because I've done many times, I've turned sharply around a corner and come face first right into a freaking chief or right into an officer. And if they're not having a good day, they're gonna freaking chew your ass out. My haircut is on set, and I haven't shaved in days. They tell me that I'm- This next thing not to do is, uh, you know, if you're gonna skate off during cleaning stations, as long as you're gonna skate off, don't get caught. 
don't get caught skating off during cleaning stations because that's going to be a bad freaking day for you. You know, everyone skates off now and, and now and again. You know, come on, everyone knows. Everyone's going to skate off during some time in their career, bro. Especially during cleaning stations. It's so monotonous. You know, you wake up every single day, 0800 to 0900. You got to clean the same pee way you've been cleaning for the past six months. You got to sweep the same dirt that's not even there on the floor. Imaginary dirt, you're cleaning. Imaginary bronze, you're brassing. But yeah, guys, if you're going to skate off, freaking do it 100%. Don't get caught. Have an alibi. Have something. You know, because like I said, if you get caught during cleaning station, it's going to be a bad day. And they're going to just make you clean even more. Even more. And then there's going to be eyes on you. Hey, where's Seaman Smuckatelli? He was just skating off. Where's Seaman Smuckatelli? Where's Seaman Smuckatelli? They'll be looking for you. Huh? But to overcome, overcome evil, evil with good. Romanos capitulo 12, versículo 21. All right, this next thing not to do, do not just eat food from the ship store or the vending machines. I swear, there was guys that would only eat from the ship store. You know, they would go down there, get a bunch of food for a couple days and just eat all that junk. There's not much else to say. Then just don't do that. Don't get hooked on the ship's food. Don't get hooked on the vending machine caffeine stuff. And I'll be your best friend until I stab you in the back because I'm your shipmate. But I'm all right with that. So don't touch your face ever. Don't touch your eyes. Don't rub your eyes. Don't touch your mouth. Don't bite your fingernails. Don't ever do any of that stuff on the ship, man, because you can get so many freaking sicknesses. Just imagine opening up all those hatches every day. You're touching everything every single freaking day. Just one time you rub your eyes or touch your mouth or bite your nails, dude, you get the double dragon. And on top of that, don't just start drinking water out of the fountains on the carrier. You know, <laughs> one time I went to go get some water and fill up my freaking bottle. It's freaking green. The water was green. You know, a good thing I freaking looked or else I would have started drinking right away you know a lot of times on the ship stuff will get contaminated they'll have to shut down the water supply for a couple of days you know you can't take showers you know for a day or two that's why i say always have extra underwears extra t-shirts extra undershirts you think you have extra pairs get even more extras i know a lot of you guys are going to be getting deployed soon a lot of you guys are going to boot camp soon and you're going to end up on some type of ship it might not be a carrier like me it might be a destroyer a small boy you know a frigate a cruiser smaller decks not a carrier your life might be a little easier. You know, there's not going to be as many lines. You don't have to wait for everything. You can do your laundry pretty much whenever you want. The birthing is going to be smaller. The crews are smaller. But, uh, but yeah, man, there's a lot of pros and cons, negatives to carry your life, small boy life. But at the end of the day, we're all out at sea. We're all living on the ship. I'll see you very soon. Thank you so much for all the support on the road to 50K. Pop it, my boy. Dude.